everyone! Thank you so much for watching. I am finally back with my February plan with me video and it took me so long to figure out what kind of theme I wanted to go with this month and one day I was just thinking about this one scene from Bambi when the owl was talking about love and being twitterpated and so I just took that as my inspiration and came up with these adorable little lovebirds and I really like the way that they turned out. So let's get right into the video. I'm starting out with my Micron 1 pen and tracing out my pencil outlines and I make sure to sketch everything out first in pencil because I know I would make just a ton of mistakes if I jumped straight in with a pen. And I still do make mistakes here and there but they're usually pretty small and easily fixed with just like a whiteout marker. And so I'm first drawing this little birdie up in the trees and I threw in some random branches and twigs and leaves here and there to help take up some page space. Then I'm using faux calligraphy for the February title. The easiest way to do this is to write out the word in cursive and on every downstroke you just add an extra line to make the downstroke look thicker. And the bottom corner is where I'm putting the second little bird with a little love letter in its beak. I've included all of the Tombow dual brush pen colors in the description box down below if you want to know the specifics, but basically I'm using a pale pink color to make their cheeks look like they're blushing, and I used a light orange for the beaks and the feet. And I had such a hard time deciding what colors to actually make them, but in the end I decided to go with a light yellow and a sky blue color, and I think they turn out just so cute and they look like little canaries. So I saw this quote and I thought it just went perfectly with my bird theme and this is why using a pencil first always helps because I went through like five different design ideas for this page and I'm still not 100% happy with it. I feel like it's missing something but I can't really figure out exactly what it's missing but I'm just gonna go with it and hope that my design skills and creativity will improve with time. Moving on to the calendar, I decided to keep this super simple with just some hearts in the background. I didn't want to go too overboard with birds on every single page and I just wanted to break up the pattern a little bit. So I'm using my Tombow Fudenosuke Heart Tip Brush Pen to write out my to-do list and the days of the week. And I decided to just use plain font since I didn't want to end up using cursive everywhere. And I think the contrast turned out really nice and playful. Then I'm just throwing in random hearts of various sizes and colors, making sure to keep some white and black so the pink isn't too overwhelming. Then I'm lining the empty boxes with black and using a hot pink for the actual dates. And I didn't do it here, but later on I decided to come back and add in a drop shadow, so you'll see that in a little bit. to my favorite spreads, the mood tracker and the habit tracker. I feel like these will just always end up as my favorite spreads because this is where I really get to let loose and just draw whatever I want. And I'm pretty proud of how these turned out. So for the title, I used the same faux calligraphy again. And at the bottom, I drew my little birds sharing a peck and their love is just filling the air with these hearts, which is what I'm going to be coloring in for my moods. This month, I'm going to use a baby pink for when I'm feeling happy or content, a hot pink for when I'm just feeling pretty meh, and a red for those bad days. And for 
for my habit tracker, I doodled in the tiny birds just because they're so cute, I wanted to include them somewhere on this page. So if you remember back to the cover page, one of the birds had a love letter in its beak. So this habit tracker is basically all of their love letters they've been sharing with each other. So freaking cute, I can barely handle it. Uh, so you'll see that a couple of my habits have changed from last month. I'm still trying to figure out which ones will help me the most. So I've got working out, eating healthy, taking my vitamins, clean and do laundry, floss, use my neck block to help with my neck injury, um, no spending, and posting to social media. them in I'm using a really light tan color for the envelopes and a red heart as the seal and to fill over the dates for my habits I'll probably end up using the light pink color for all of them this next page is just a brain dump section where I just doodle and jot down any ideas I have. I decided to include it in this month because the doodle page I put in my 2019 setup is actually almost full and I definitely need more space for future theme and video ideas. So to keep it simple, I just added some string hearts at the top. And moving on to my weekly spreads, I really like the layouts that I've been using where I can just fit an entire week onto one page. It's usually enough room for me and I like that I don't end up with a ton of unused space. Especially since these Archer and Olive notebooks, they ain't cheap. So I want to be able to utilize as much of it as I can. As a cute little decoration, I added a bunch of hearts around the empty areas and wrote in Twitter painted at the bottom since that was what inspired this entire month. And this next week, I added in my birdies again. One of them is giving the other a flower this time. And I always like having a notes section in my weeks, so I have a place to write down things from my meetings or client showings. As you can see, I'm keeping these designs pretty simple. They're super quick to plan out, but they still look cute. And I thought this page was missing just a little something, and so here's where I remember to add in my drop shadows. I realized that this month I didn't use my Tambo Furunosuke pens that much and so I brought it back for this week and I kept this week toned down since I used so much color for everything else. I used the pen to draw in the hearts underneath and added the dates in with my white pen. Going back to string hearts, you really can't go wrong with string anything. It really adds a lot to a page even though it's so easy to do. So to change the font up a little bit, I'm going with these big fun block letters. They don't look the best. I still need a lot of practice on fonts and figuring out how to shadow letters. Last week, I of course had to add in the little lovebirds again. And can you think of another quote that fits better than if you're a bird, I'm a bird? The notebook is such a freaking classic, I couldn't not include that here. And that is it for my February setup. I honestly love this month so much. It turned out super cute and I hope you all liked it too. If you decide to recreate it, please tag me on Instagram at AFCXX3 so I can see all of your wonderful and cute recreations. I'm really looking forward to seeing them and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!